This episode brought to you by the Black Tux. Premium rental suits and tuxedos delivered. the nostalgia critic guy remember it so you don't have to remember the nightmare fuel and son of the mask i know which one this one <laughs> imagine that for an hour and a half don't want to i did and you're gonna suffer with me on the animated character who became a hit in the 40s, the Woody Woodpecker movie targets this American icon on its most American audience, Brazil. No joke. Brazil is where this film premiered, and they didn't even bother with a big screen release in America, it just went straight to DVD. I don't know what kind of sign that is, but judging by the ton of people that want me to review this, I'm assuming bad. I have no real like or dislike for Woody Woodpecker, he seemed perfectly serviceable for what his character was supposed to be. But from what I'm hearing in this film, there's a definite pecker that needs to be chopped in it. Let's see what's good enough for Brazil, but apparently not us. This is the Woody Woodpecker movie. Universal? Ooh, maybe Woody's part of the Dark Universe! That's what Tom Cruise changed into at the end of The Mummy! And by god, he's more scary looking than I could have imagined! No, Buck. We open with Woody waking up in his tree to find poachers illegally hunting in the forest. This ought to be fun. Game on. <laughs> Definitely part of the dark universe. Why do his whooshing effects look like firecracker popsicles? Okay, boys, you got me fair and square. Not. This film knows how to update Woody. Its pop culture references are only 20 years old as opposed to 70. And I'm the one with the brain the size of a walnut? That's the people who greenlit this! Now oh, there has to be a way to make this even more 90s. Oh look! People in suits connected to oil! Instantly bad! You duck-killing bastards! And yes, that is Lassie from Psych, who is apparently being fired because he said he didn't care for wildlife in an interview. Wildlife don't vote. Wildlife don't pay taxes! Though if they're as humanized as Woody Woodpecker, shouldn't they? His plan is to create a country estate on the border of Canada to flip it and make a huge profit. A country estate. We're gonna flip it. Take a huge profit. I'm gonna start my own firm. I just know the kids who wanted to see the Woody Woodpecker movie are following all of that. Meanwhile, we see Woody relaxing on the pond belching. <laughs> and we immediately cut away from it. Sorry, audience, that was an essential burp. The film would fall apart without it. But his ex-wife, and presumably ex-son, drop by to tell him that her father died and she needs him to watch her son for a while. Apparently enough time to build an entire house. Yeah, they're together for a while in this film, that's a lot of time off. I'm sorry, Linda, the timing is just really bad. I would like to help you, but I can't, and that's final. Now I'm just gonna have you take a wild guess as to what they cut to next. A, the son with the father. B, who cares what the rest are because you know it's obviously A. My hands were tied, you saw that. Yeah, I know. That's what the director thought was funny. I know you don't want me here. The only kid you want in your life is your girlfriend. There are so many wrong ways to interpret that. They get to where they're going to build the house and decide to make a little food. Don't you dare post that. Too late. Hashtag epic dad grill fail. Both of my followers are gonna love this. One of the rangers named Sam introduces herself and lets them know that they've been having problems with bird poachers. Not enough problems in my opinion! I hear you're building a house up here. 5,000 square feet, every amenity. Don't you think it'll kind of overwhelm the landscape? And for some reason it looks like an ice cube tray turning into the Wolf of Wall Street boat. The sun comes across Woody who immediately has a hankering for some snacks. Are those peanut butter bonkers? I'm a sucker for peanut butter! Come on, brother, share the wealth, spread the love, hook me up! What are you trying to tell me? I'm just a pawn character, I can't actually think in this movie! They seem to form a friendship, I guess, despite the film stopping to tell us otherwise. Hey, don't let the mushy music fool you. We're not friends or anything, I'm only doing this for the free food. I'm what you call a food prostitute. I'm gonna call you 
Woody. Yeah. You like that name? Woody? Funny how I can speak English, yet apparently I never had a name. My mother used to call me Jonathan before she was eaten by Yogi the Bear. That's right, Woody's got a backstory! Nobody ever asks! He comes across the rest of the family, and they do not take to his rascally ways or ass humor. <laughs> oh, yeah, when I said ass humor, I literally meant ass humor. Remember, the butt is always a treasure trove to shit. Woody also keeps them up at night making pecking sounds in the forest. Give me that back, right now! You know how many times in your life you get to say, I miss the walrus? Lassie brings in the bulldozers to start building the house, but Woody tries to stop them. Weep! Eeny, meeny, miny, Hooray! Hooray! No. How's that for an eviction notice? No. I do not recall so much focus on anus in the original cartoons, but it's been a while. Maybe I remember them differently. You must be pretty cold, buddy. No. But shit! But 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 shit! But shit! Goddamn ass! I guess I was wrong. The son goes into a guitar store and meets a girl who works there. I'm Jill. Uh, I'm Tommy. Are you visiting? Yeah. Now I'm just gonna let you take a wild guess as to what their relationship is going to be. A. Bank robbers. B, if I don't say any more, maybe it will be bank robbers. I can make you a really sweet deal on that guitar if you like. She tells him if he joins her band, she'll let him have the guitar for free, because I guess she's the store owner now. And he comes across some bullies who, even by stock bully standards, have a pretty weak reason to hate him. This is our problem, and we didn't give you permission to use it. Hey, you don't get off that easy. Hey, never mind that, look at that kid! He's got eyes! Woody comes in to save him, though, and ends this scene as abruptly as it starts. Nobody messes with my BFF. And by that I mean bring her a free food. See ya! Oh. Yeah, we didn't have a segue. Or a plot. Or writers. But I sound great in Portuguese! Oh my god, no I don't! Why did we make this?! He tells his dad that Woody saved him, but neither him or the girlfriend want to hear it. Do not mention that stupid bird. Last I remember, that stupid bird wasn't the one covered in bird poop. That's his Friday night thing. Go to your room. And in case you were wondering, nobody in town is happy about his building house up here. Granted, I've only talked to three people, and two of them are like this. This is our problem, and we didn't give you permission to use it. I still think it's a sound argument. Things don't get that much better at night. Here's Woody! You better fly out of here! Yeah, right. A pine cone. How pathetic. You know, I totally forgot why I'm supposed to like anything anywhere. The next day isn't any better as Woody continues to make their lives a living hell. Don't worry, I didn't forget about you two. You're my favorites. Nonsense, Dick Tracy, have I laughed so hard at somebody drowning in wet cement. Lassie goes to the ranger to complain about Woody's antics, but she doesn't believe him. The red crown woodpecker has been extinct for almost a hundred years. Any chance you're taking any sort of medication? Well, he's only advertised his existence as loudly as possible in front of many witnesses in both the woods and the town! Are you sure you're not taking any medication? Worst ranger ever?! The local Native Americans believed it was the incarnation of Marconda. Whoa, Woody's backstory is strangely complicated. God of chaos and mayhem, a mischievous trickster who haunted the forest. This was meant to be a kid's film, right? Ah, the blacktux.com. Tuxedos delivered right to your door. It's just like ordering a pizza, except a lot bigger. And you have to send your measurements because it's a tuxedo. You know what? It's nothing like ordering a pizza. But when I want to look good with no hassle at a good price, I do use the blacktux.com. I mean, everyone wants to look good for that special event, but they don't want to fork out a ton of money for it either. Well, the blacktux.com is your answer with high quality rental suits and tuxedos delivered to your doorstep. It's such an easy way to rent suits and tuxes online. Most suits go for something like 1200 bucks, but at the Black Tux, they start at $95. They let you create your own look and choose from a ton of great stylists. Their expert customer care has your back every step of the way, and it's completely done online. You can even do a free home try-on so you can see the fit and feel the quality of your suit months before your big event. 
And after ordering your suit, they'll have it to you 14 days before the event even starts. And if anything is less than perfect, the Black Tux will send you a free replacement right away. When your event is over, you just drop your rental back in the mail and shipping is free both ways. And hey, you want to get 20 bucks off your purchase? Just visit theblacktux.com slash nostalgiacritic. That's right, just go to theblacktux.com slash nostalgiacritic and you'll get $20 right off your purchase. Visit theblacktux.com. Premium rental suits and tuxedos delivered. Why Woody is an endangered species because he endangers every species he comes across. Anyone else smell gas? Wait for it. Okay, Woody's a serial killer. He takes joy in the slaughtering of others and thinks nothing of the consequences. He even brings death to humor. Ooh, definitely swipe left. Weren't there poachers in this movie? The girlfriend finally leaves after somehow surviving that, and the son apologizes for the situation. Sorry about Vanessa. I know you liked her. Sometimes things don't work out the way you planned. Yeah, the hit show for years, and sometimes this is the movie you get. Lassie comes across the two poachers and asks them to remove the woodpecker, to which they accept because they know they can sell them for tons of cash. So the kids stumble across the place where the poachers stuff their animals. What are you doing? Here. Oh my god, what's gonna happen to them? Get out of here! Go, go. Well, that was anticlimactically reasonable. You had a chance to kill three of the main characters and you blow it! Oh, who am I kidding? We still have to deal with this universal monster. That's what I'm cracked up to be. Chop a hole and a Knock on wood! And I thought the BR guest rap in Descendants was. also awful. I can't even make a joke out of that. Woody smells peanut butter, though, as the poachers have a plan to catch him. Mind if I join you? Is it just me, or is there something kind of wooden about this chick? Oh, I don't know. So far, she's the best actor in the whole thing. The trap doesn't work, though, as they try sending heat-seeking tranquilizers after him. Get alongside that one! It hits the poachers in the ass as Woody decides to fire an electric net on Lassie. Smile! Wow, that is terrifying. Just add that to the collection of Saw victim pictures you have! So Lassie tries to be nice by constantly offering Woody snacks if he just leaves him alone. So the moral is bribery fixes everything. I know what you folks are thinking. Woody is a big, fat sellout. Long before the film started, yes. I let them build their dream house in peace. Okay, even the bear in the big blue house would say that's too much blue. But whatever, the house is made and there's... Still a half hour left. What the hell else is there to do? Well, and we have a waiter! I guess that. Oh wait, more poop jokes! You know, this is the only movie I can think of that can make Kevin Costner's urine look delicious. The kids plan to perform at the fair, but it looks like the drummer gets sick. I'll let you take a while, get just play it. I'm sure those cans can get that kind of percussion. I, like about you. I especially love the invisible drummer we can't see! The fair releases a bunch of fireflies because... I don't know, whimsical? Hey, it matches this last man attempt to throw some heart into Satan's doorstop here. Just because I'm one of a kind doesn't mean I can't be part of a family too, right? I mean, I maimed and tortured him through 90% of my screen time. That has to be love. Buddy accidentally starts a fire, burning the place down. And of course, Lassie gets pissed off at him, hiring the poachers back. Oh, can I get an endless loop of that for my screensaver? Feels so justified. But Lassie stumbles across something in the rubble. Woody. Aw, oh, he signs his arsons. No, he was just making a family portrait. Which of course excuses why Woody never told him that he was the one who burned the place down. I'm fine if it makes the movie go faster. The poachers tried to auction off Woody among four millionaires because clearly they would have that contact info. As the kids try to sneak in and save him, but they get caught and thrown in a cage. I'll peck you new ones and I ain't talking about nostrils. Hey, you can swim through the gaps in that cage. Mousetrap is a better holding device. 
Lassie and the Ranger show up, though, to do jack shit. Is anyone of worth in this movie? Lassie leans his cage over, though, and lets Woody out, allowing him to turn the poachers into a giant CG ball of yarn. They really are getting more lazy with every effect, aren't they? They ride away, though, with Woody chasing him down. I'm coming to get you! I'm gonna add your picture to my collection! They pass the friggin' easiest Canadian border to cross! I guess permanently closed means lightly locked. But Woody knocks the ground out from under him. Hey, uh, fellas, remember me? Please, look us up. Just take us out of this movie so we can start proper careers! Who are you calling crazy? <laughs> That's the last one. I can't promise that. <laughs> Boy, someone's in a hurry for the credits. At last, this movie said something right. This film is awful, awful. I can see why this only got a DVD release in America, and I apologize to Brazil for having to witness it on 50-foot screens. This film is like a Nickelodeon movie of the month, except somehow it actually makes me pray to see SpongeBob. It looks as bad as it sounds, it sounds as bad as it looks. It's unfunny, it's annoying, it's worth flying as far away from as humanly possible. I'm the Nostalgia Critic, I remember it despite how much I don't want to. Hey, Doug Walker here doing the charity shout out. I'm just gonna give you a heads up right now. Today's charity is very rough, but it doesn't have any graphic images or pictures or anything like that. Please definitely consider giving to this charity. It is the Center for Victims of Torture. This organization works towards a future in which torture ceases to exist and its victims have hope for a new life. They provide direct care for those who have gone through such terrible acts, train partners around the world who can prevent and treat such acts, and advocate for human rights as well as an end to torture. They are forging new ways to advance human rights and build a future free from the horrendous things done to them. Each initiative plays a role in building a larger vision for the torture rehabilitation movement. They provide a bridge between torture victims, the local community, and society as a whole working to restore the dignity of the human spirit one survivor at a time. If you look at their site and their YouTube channel, you can see the ways they help people overcome what no person should ever have to go through. I know it's rough to think about, but these are people that can use any ounce of love that you have, and even the tiniest donation can go a long way. Please click on the link and give to those who have gone through more than we can imagine and deserve all the healing we can.